In today's video, I'm going to be doing a breakdown of my six-piece striker battle, battle gear. Now, I'm going to be going over the gear, what it does, and initially breaking down all of those numbers so you can actually see what it does in terms of damage and as in the self-heal that you get from those striker stacks. So first thing I want to do is get into the gear set itself. Uh, I want to show you what the healing can do. I want to show you the numbers and then then I'll get into you know my build and, and why I run things the way I run them and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's start out with going over the striker build. The two piece bonus you get 20% stability three piece bonus you get 10 percent enemy armor damage and the fourth bonus is every consecutive hit deals one percent more damage stacks up to a hundred percent missing shot drops bonus by two percent bonus is reduced by one percent every second bonus can be caused ca paused excuse me by an EMP and is lost when exiting combat the fifth set bonus is an additional 10% stability and additional 5% enemy armor damage. Now this is where the build gets interesting with the six piece set bonus. Every hit adds a self healing bonus for 0.02% of max health per second. This bonus is increased by 0.05% for every 3000 stamina stacks up to 100 hits. Missing shot drops a bonus by one stack and the bonus is reduced by two stacks every second. P improved Striker's Battle Gear. Every hit increases the bonus damage from Striker's Battle Gear by an additional 1%. Missing shot drops bonus damage from Striker's battle, ge battle Gear by 1% and the bonus is re reduced by 2% every second. Now let's get into the numbers of this self-healing I'm going to do a breakdown for you, so I'm going to try to be as clear and as thorough as I can. First we're going to look at the 0.02% of max health per second. Next we have the 0.05 for every 3000 stamina. So what I did here was I took 0.05, I times that by 3 which you get 0.15 and I added 0 0.02 of to that as well so that comes up with 0.17 which then translates to 17 percent so with that being said at a hundred stacks you will be getting 17 percent of your max health back per second so let's get into the math at uh, first I'm going to come here and I'm going to show you the max health on my character. Now this is actually probably lower than most and I'll, I'll get to the reasons why because I run my build a little different. So my max health is 415,699. So at 800 stacks we're going to take your my max health which is the 415699 and I'm going to times that by 17% or 0.17 and with what you get out of that is 70,668 healing per second. I'm also going to be going over with you how I have my weapon talents and I'm going to be adding in that the stuff from that as well for the additional healing but let me tell you 70,000 healing points per second in return that you're stacked up at 100 sacks is absolutely crazy that is a lot of healing so now I'm gonna go back and we're gonna go ahead and get into the build as you can see it is 9,000 stamina on mine mine is my build is also anti-pred I, I build it to combat the pred bleed sometimes it works if I have no stacks I'm just I think like everyone else and just fucked <laughs> so on my chest piece which is rolled to stamina it has 16,000 health 11% EDR and ammo capacity and I have stamina 
crit hit chance mods for both those mods. The backpack, which is rolled to stamina as well, I have it rolled to crit damage and it has bleed resistance. Now this is why my health might be lower than some, because I have crit damage on my backpack. Uh, this is something that I think I tested, I just wanted to test just to see where it got me and see if how much how much more squishier it made me or, or this or that and, and I actually kind of like it so, so I kind of just left it there but I have 9% crit damage, bleed resistance stamina crit chance mods for the performance mods you can do whatever you want there I run pulse with my striker so I have crit chance crit damage mods for performance mods now onto the mask Roll to stamina as well, 11% EDR, 17% blind death resistance, and stamina crit chance mods. On the gloves, this is the one, the way I run this type is with my shotgun, and it is roll to firearms, crit chance, crit damage, shotgun damage. On the knee pads, roll to stamina, they have health. Bleed, shock, and burn resistance. And stamina crit chance mod with pulse crit hit chance mod. Again, you can have whatever you want in the performance mod slot, whatever you feel like is going to be best value, value for yourself and for your team. Mm -hmm. On the holster, everything maxed out across the boards with 4% crit hit chance and a pulse crit hit damage mod. Okay, so with if you've noticed that I'm running on all of these gear mods, I'm running stamina with crit hit chance. Now you can, if you feel like you're you're better with skill haste, go with skill haste. If you feel like you want more health, which will in turn add to more healing per second, because that's what that's just gonna boost that overall number up, then go with health. For me, I just feel like it. I like that extra crit chance. It this build just melts, especially when you get to 100 stacks. Now let's get in, into the weapons. Keep in mind that I I did have shotgun damage gloves on, and this is this is the way that I run my builds. Normally, all of my builds I run this way. I think that I don't I don't really agree with running with two damage weapons. So on my shotgun, which I do my damage with, I run it with Vicious Deadly Responsive, Crit Chance Magazine, Rate of Fire, Crit Damage Optics with Crit Chance and Headshot Damage, and Accuracy for the Underbarrel with Stability and Crit Hit Damage. That's just, that accuracy helps me a little bit with the pop shotting. Um, full disclaimer. No, I do not use Cronus Max. I have several, several live streams where I do hand cam, and I also turn the cam to my PlayStation. I will, if you ever see me on live stream, I will turn my camera right then and there to the PlayStation so you can see that there's nothing plugged in it, maybe just the wire that connects my controller. But other than that, there will never be no USB, no ever anything plugged into that PlayStation that is not supposed to be. Moving on, so for my secondary, as I would like to call it, I run the LVOAC, and it has Vicious, Predatory, Determined, and the magazine, Crit Chance, Rate of Fire, whole, uh, Optics, Crit Chance, Headshot Damage, Crit Damage, on the muzzle, Crit Damage, Crit Chance, Optimal Range, and on the underbarrel, Crit Hit Damage, Optimal Range, and Stability. So let me go into the reason why I say I run one damage weapon and the other one I run determined and predatory on almost all my builds. To me, that it's just there's. I started running this way. Uh, some guys on my team that I run with, they put me onto it, and I, I've just never changed back. I just can't. I can't get away from it. So with with predatory, this weapon talent, predatory and determined is to me two of the strongest talents in the game weapon talents that is um, and that and that's because 
With predatory, you're going to get 35% of your health over 20 seconds. You're going to receive that back. And on top of that 70,000 heal points per second you're already getting, whoa. Um, I will be going into those numbers as well after I get done just with this little this little bit. Also, determined. Everything I do, anytime I ever fight, after I get done with a wave of players, the first thing I do is I go get my super bag. I d call it dirt bag, it call it cheese, call it whatever you want. I do not like fighting without my super, whether it be a blue, green. I'm not so much on yellows, but blue or green, yes. I. And if you ever see me in the DZ, you better believe you better pop some pop some supers as well, because I'm popping them, baby, nonstop. Let's get it. Uh, determined is it, I think it's like 10 NPCs I'll have, to, I'll have to test that out as well so I can get you guys a more accurate number but so let, let's go back to this predatory with an addition to the 70k 70,000 heal points per second the predatory so I took 35% of my health of the 415699 and I came up with 145,494.65. Now I, I was thinking, okay, so how could I translate this? And I might be right, or I might be wrong, excuse me, but I'm pretty sure I did this right. I was thinking, okay, so if I had, if I did it as like, as in a, as in a minute, I would just take that number and divide by 60 as in 60 seconds and that's how much I would have per second so I was like okay well I'll just do it in 20 seconds so what I what I did was I took 145,494 and divided it by 20 and I came up with 7,274.73 I took that number then and added it to the 70,000 so that in turn comes up to 77,942 now keep in mind yes that their predatory is only 20 seconds but I don't mind it because I'd rather it actually be 20 seconds because you actually have more chunks of health as opposed to as if it was over a minute that 35 percent would be dwindled down yeah you would have it for longer but I like the the bulk the bulk chunk of health coming back to me is is just in my eyes better there's also another thing too that I wanted to add in which is the canned food just to show you how crazy that this can actually get with everything active at 100 stacks So what we're going to take is 40%. That's going to be, I'm going to take that predatory number, I'm going to take that healing self-heal, take 40% of that and I'm going to add it to each each other and add it to itself. I mean, I could, I'll, I can do it both ways. Actually, yeah, I'll just do it that way. Just, just so you can see, I'm pretty sure it works for each individual self would actually even be higher, so I probably am wrong here. But just to give you a small idea, let's just take the 77,942 times that by point four zero, and that equals 31,000. 176 this is just that overall number of the healing that you'll get the 77,000 now I'm sure I'm 100% I'm that with the canned food you could take that predator that would actually add to that predatory number I'm thinking another 40% in turn you would actually even get way more but just to kind of keep it simple I'm just gonna do it this way so now I'm going to take that 31,000 and add it right back to that 77,000. So 31,000 plus 77,942. 
which equals 108,525 healing per second at 100 stacks that is that is a lot of health guys that is absolutely insane Predbleed what? Predbleed who? Anti-pred all day long that is so much healing and not even to take into account for the combat medics if you're running with the healer just think about a, re a reclaimer box you're in that let's just let's just say that their their base box is 25k yeah I, I understand I, I know you can get it up to 30,000 and above I mean that which is crazy in itself but you add a reclaimer box to that, add just just at a base number, add twenty five thousand to that insane amount of healing. I just want to say thank you guys for stopping by. This is my strike, my six piece striker build. I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed having you. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button. Show me some love, show me some support. Leave me your comments, leave your thoughts in the comment section. I, I, I truly, truly appreciate it, guys. Until next time, it is your boy Busa. Peace.